Good morning, guys. We are starting a little bit late. Um, I sometimes get ready at the store, so which means that my makeup bag is at the store. So I had to go run down and grab that this morning. So anyway, um, sorry I'm a little late, but we are going to make this really cute, super easy heart. And it's going to turn out like this when we're done. Again, you can pick whatever color paint you would like to have your heart to be painted. So let's get to painting. Okay, here we go. So let's just take this one down and let's hang that one right there so you guys know what it looks like. Okay, so I went to Hobby Lobby and they have this in their Valentine section and it is $3.99. And it is still on sale. So you want to go grab one of those. And as you can see, I did not keep the red ribbon. So I am just going to go ahead and cut that off. I thought maybe last night when I made this, I was going to put it back on. But no, not going to do it. You're going to need your heart. And then I went to the Dollar Tree and found this really cute OXOX, XOXO. And I think they had maybe kisses at dollar a dollar store. So you can get kisses if the XOXO is not there. And of course at the dollar store it's a dollar twenty-five. So I take that out of that packaging, throw that away. You're gonna need your paints. And the paints that I used is blush, pink, and white. And then the other thing that I have found that I am really liking is you're going to go to Walmart to grab this. And it's Waverly Wax and it's Antique. And you're going to go grab one of these. And they have this in a smaller container. I would highly suggest to buy the smaller one because you are not going to use this whopping one. I will just because of what I do at the store. But they have a smaller container and I think this was maybe... I can't remember what the price was, but I think the smaller one was around maybe eight. So buy the small one because a little bit goes a long ways. Okay, and then you're going to get one of these cute little brushes. I got it at Menards. You can get one of these at Walmart. Um, you can find these at Hobby Lobby in the paint aisle and just need one. And of course, you're just going to need your paints and we're going to use this handy dandy rapid fuse to glue our XO on and um, our buttons. I did hot glue the buttons. With it being on metal, I just put a little bit of glue and it actually popped off. So you may want to use a rapid fuse to glue your buttons onto the metal piece. Okay, let's get to painting. So, and then you're going to need some beads and your twine. And the beads, um, these are ones that I have. And you can buy these at Hobby Lobby. I'm sure you can buy them at Walmart too. And you don't have to do white ones. You can actually just get the plain ones and you can paint those. So if you want, you can do one red, one pink, one white, whatever combination you're wanting. Just design it just for you. So we're going to lay those over there because we're not ready for this yet. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to scratch that. We're going to put those right there. Don't roll off. And what I did is I just put one two three four five on each side if you want to use the whole if you want to cover it all in the little balls go right ahead on the little beads it's totally up to you okay so we're going to go ahead and we're going to paint our surface i'm not going to paint the sides again you're just going to take that paint and you're going to just go feather dust it and you're just going to very carefully go out to the edge Remember when you're painting, you want to do about the thickness of when we used to paint our fingernails. Nothing thicker than that. And I have a little goober. Where did that come from? Must have been on my paintbrush. Okay. Well, how is everybody today? It is Thursday already. I cannot believe how fast this week is going. I'm just like, is it really Thursday? I just, the days go by so fast. And there's still snow on the ground. I think it's going to be here for a while, guys. It is slowly melting. 
So down at the store, I go chip away in the alleyway to make sure the UPS and FedEx man, there's a clean path for them to come through and it's safe. Have used a lot of de-icer. And then I was told by Mark that next week it's going to be very cold. So it sounds like we better enjoy this nice weather while we can. Okay. And as you've noticed, I have just kept going back and forth. This one, I would say, doesn't particularly need to have two coats as long as you just keep going back and forth. And because we're going to use that antiquing gel on there. So you're just going to keep going over it and over it. And you're going to need your glue gun plugged in, which I already have it plugged in. And then you're going to need your dryer to speed dry. If you are needing to get this done right away, if not, just let it air dry. Go do a little laundry, come back and see how it's looking. Okay, so there is our heart. And it's looking pretty good. And I am going to put the rest of that paint. Again, if you've gotten too much paint on your plate, always just put it right back in there right away. If your paint has been on your plate for 15, 20 minutes, then I want you to go ahead and get that removed and throw it away because you don't want dry, gloppy paint back in your paint. Dry this really quick. <clears throat> Good morning, Sophie. Sophie can come downstairs to hang out with mom. Bella's upstairs. great okay next thing we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and we're going to put a little bit of white on your plate for your circles again if you don't want to do polka dots you don't have to you can just do lines around the perimeter of it dab that off you always want to dab it off and i always tell the girls when they're going to do circles practice on paper prior to get those brush strokes Always remember when you're with a dry brush, keep your brush straight up and down. Because if you do hold your brush sideways, your brush strokes are going to be different. And your polka dots are going to look a little bit different. And there's no right or wrong way of putting polka dots on. You just kind of let the paintbrush do its thing. And then I always tell the girls, if you make one of your circles darker than the other ones, it's okay. You can always go back over it. So do not worry about that one polka dot you got too heavy because we can fix it. We'll just add some more to each of them or we'll put little swishes through them. Okay, so there's our polka dots. That is done. So let's put this over here. Okay, so when it comes to this, <clears throat> and again, it does not take very much. And I will show you it does not take very much. Unless you really want it to look grubby, you can make it heavy. But again, keep those brushes straight up and down and just go right along the edge and go back this way. Always take your brush the same direction and then dip it, dab it, and then go keep going back and forth. And then once you've done the outer perimeter, you're just going to take that and you're going to very, very carefully pull it all the way through. And when you're doing this, think feather dusting, a swifter, um, you put blush on your face, you are dusting grandma's china. You always want to think very light handed. Okay. Okay. 
How does that look? And if you want to make it grubbier, go right ahead. It is your artwork. It's your heart. And if you go to Dollar Tree and they don't have any more of the EXO or Kisses, um, you can write on it. You can stencil on it. You can go to the scrapbooking department at Hobby Lobby and buy stickers and put stickers on it. That would be fun. And always remember to put this in your Ziploc bag to keep it from drying out. Your brush will last a lot longer. It's not something you're going to use every day, except you're, if you're at Son Boy Sonia down at the shop. Okay, so let's go ahead and let's glue this on there because it's not going to take very long to glue. And if you can see, the XOXO has the little circles on it to hang. And that's why I just had some buttons and we hid those holes. Um, buttons, you can go to Hobby Lobby and go to Walmart, buy a miscellaneous container of buttons. Sometimes on our area of Carn Exchange, someone's selling buttons. You can make this sideways, you can make it straight, however you would like, okay? It's not gonna take very long to dry. And that is how we're looking. Super simple, easy cheesy. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and I am going to glue. As you can see, I've got one bigger one that I'm gonna put on our bow up there. And then I'm going to make sure I put enough glue to glue on that one. And let's just do this one over here. And if you want to, you can glue buttons all over it. You can make little bows to go in those little spots. If you don't mind the circles, the little hangers in there, don't worry about it. Just do, do what you would like. Okay, so there we go. Now I've already cut my piece of twine and I did not remember my tape. Oh, I hope this will thread okay. Okay. So now we're going to go ahead and we are going to tie, you're going to pull this through and you're going to make a lot of little knots, if I can get a hold of it with my fingers, because you want to make your knot big enough that it does not go, want to pull through your circle there, your pre-drilled circle. And if you've got a longer tail left on it, it's okay. You've got your handy dandy scissors there. Okay, there we go. So now you want to go ahead, and if you could see, we started with white, and I think we're going to be okay. We are going to be okay. This twine must be a little thinner than what I have at the store. If you are needing to feed through, grab some tape, which I am surprised. I must have left it on the counter. So you're going to go ahead and just keep feeding these through. But if you need to, grab just some scotch tape and tape that along the end. And then that way then you've got something to go ahead and push through that has a nice stiffness to it. Because as you can see, this is fed threading great. Okay, so wait, one, two, three, four, five. Now we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna go ahead and go again. We're gonna do white because we are going to do five on each side. So when you're threading them, just remember two whites will go together between five and six. And I may need to finally just cut this. If you don't have tape, like I don't have tape, go ahead and cut that off because you frayed it a little bit and you want to keep threading it. Can you hear Bella whining up there? She can't make it down the stairs. She can go up the stairs, she just can't make it down the stairs. And, well, at least downstairs to here. Okay, and then you're going to go ahead and then you're going to feed that through your circle that is pre-drilled already on your heart, which makes it nice and easy. We're going to cut that again. And there we go. Now, when it comes to your hanger, you can make it as long as you want, as short as you want. And just remember, you're going to tie that. So that looks about like that. And I would say just start, and then if you've got this long tail, I always cut more twine than I need, always. 
I'd rather have too much twine than not enough twine. Or as our craft that we did the other day, I didn't have my plastic wrap cut long enough, which was my mistake. So make sure when you make your XOXO countdown to Valentine's Day, cut your plastic wrap to wrap your candies a lot longer because you can always get rid of that. Okay, so here we go here. They look about the same. You know, leave that like that. And there we go. Okay, the last thing we're gonna do is we're gonna make this bow. And what I did is I just went ahead and cut one, and this is, you can use any bow. This is just some ribbon that I bought in at Hobby Lobby. And if you want the thinner ribbon, you're gonna go back in the material department at Hobby Lobby. Otherwise, the other material is down by the silks, and that is where you can find your big ribbons of ribbon. Okay, and you're gonna cut a piece. It just, I just eyeball it. I don't ever measure it, because it doesn't have to be perfect, because you can always trim it at the end. And you can make this bow as thick as you want, as small as you want. If you don't wanna put a bow on it at all, don't worry about it. You don't need to make that either. And then you're just gonna kinda of keep laying these like this, like that so, and then you're gonna go and pinch that together. Now, if you wanted to, you can take some twine and you can wrap that around there. Otherwise, I'm just gonna do this here. And we're gonna tie it. As you can see, this is a super easy craft project. As you know, I always try to find something fun and easy for the whole family. Again, if you have a grandma that's in a uh, retirement center and she needs something fun for her door, this would be perfect. Easy, cheesy. Okay, then what you're gonna do is you're gonna just roll that out. You're gonna take your glue and you're gonna put a little bit of glue on there. You're gonna glue that down. And then what I did, I took one of my buttons and we're gonna put it right in the middle there. And again, if you don't wanna use buttons, you don't have to. Buttons are always just a nice little add-on. If you've got, some, if you are one that likes Spanish moss, you can get some Spanish moss and you can add some more texture to your heart. Um, you can add lines around your heart if you want to. And there it is, super fun. Super easy, and if you want to, like, we're gonna do this. We're gonna put this one right here. We're gonna go ahead and get a cream button, and we're gonna add it right down here. Come on, Mr. Glue. My glue stick is not wanting to go through. Sometimes that happens. Sometimes if that does, just pull it back out, and then turn it around. It's like this one I don't use all the time, so it may just gotten, and make sure you put that over there because it's gonna make a mess. And sometimes your glue stick will do that. You can always cut that back off. And then I'm going to take this one and put the darker one on top. There, there you go. Here is your XOXO heart made super easy. You have got Maybe five dollars into it. That's it, because you're gonna write this at forty percent off. This was a dollar twenty-five. You've got some. I'm sure you have buttons in your house. Like I said, we've talked to buttons before. Um, you buy a blouse and it's got that extra button. You have it in a drawer or a jar. And ribbon we've bought in. And if you don't want ribbon and you got these little beads, and if you go and especially when your unfinished woods are forty percent off, you can go stock up on your beads or they have some other beads over in the jewelry making department that you can find that are a little bit smaller, which is also really fun. Okay, you guys, thank you for tuning in with us and make sure you go over to our YouTube video, our YouTube channel, like it, subscribe. We are slowly growing our platform. And if you ever feel like you want to send us some stars, we love stars. We love stars. It makes our heart happy. And that's it. Okay, guys, have a super day. Enjoy your Thursday and we'll see you on Monday at seven o'clock. Bye, guys.
Okay, here you go. Hi, Tammy. Oh, Tammy sent me stars. Thank you, Sweet Pea. That is super simple, guys. You guys can make this. Go grab your supplies today and show. And if you guys do make this, send me pictures because I would love to see it. See you later.